so now we've spoken a little bit about the serifs, I'm going to move on to the sans serifs, which of course is differentiated from the serifs by not having these tiny little feet or decorative elements um, along the central beams and the top bars, etc. Now, sans serifs are of course slightly more modern than the serifs, but similar to the serifs, they are also subdivided into four families, with grotesque being the oldest. So this is your Franklin Gothic, this is your News Gothic. Um, then as we go into the future, you've got the Neo-Grotesque. So this is Helvetica, this is Ariel. And going even further into future, you've got the Humanist family of sans serifs. And this is your Jill Sands, your Tahoma, your Vedana, etc. And finally, you've got the geometric fonts, for example, Futura. Now, the way that you can tell if a typeface is geometric is by looking at the O's. And the O's in a geometric typeface should look exactly like as if you'd drawn it with a protractor. It is perfectly round. Now, similar to the serifs, as you move from the older grotesque family, as you move from the older grotesque to the neo-grotesque to the humanist, you can see this difference in the thickest and the thinnest parts of the font starting to get more and more exaggerated. When you look at the grotesque, it's almost equidistant at all points. And then when you look at the humanist typefaces, you start to see this variation or modulation as we call it. Now the geometric typeface is a bit similar to the slab serif typeface. Even though it's one of the most modern typefaces in this family, it bucks the trend and pretty much has no modulation and is equidistant at all points.